Hello guys, I am Tanmay Gupta and I got All India Rank 1 in NEET UG 2021. I currently study in Ames Daily and today I am here to tell you how can an average student score 500 plus in the NEET exam. So before I start, I am going to tell you that this 500 score that is here is not a very difficult score to achieve. Just you have to know the basics of the topics that you are going to study and you have to study them wisely and you have to select the topics that are of interest to you. So uh, I will just tell you the breakup of the NEET examination to start with. So the NEET exam is going to be of 720 marks out of which uh, 360 will be for Bio, 180 Physics and 180 will be for Chemistry. So uh, according to me there are two kinds of students, one the Bio one that are inclined towards Bio and other the non-Bio ones that are good in Physics, Chemistry but are not able to score good in Bio. So I will tell you what to uh, have an expectations from in each subject for both kind of students. So starting with those that are good in bio and have an intellect for bio. So there are 360 marks to score in bio and I think that it is very possible to score around three, 250 to 300 marks. That is zoology plus botany. And this is the score that you should go for um, uh, to score a good score of 500 plus in the NEET exam. For physics, if you talk about, uh, I think it would be good if you can score between 100 and 120 marks. That is not difficult. I will just tell you what all topics that you have to go through, which all topics you have to stress on. Then there is chemistry. Chemistry nowadays is the topic of interest in NEET. It is coming... Uh, very easy, it is coming mostly from NCRT only. So, you should be able to score around three, 130 to 150 in chemistry. So, this will take your total to about 500 or more. And this is very easy. I will just tell you how to get the marks that I have written here. In bio, uh, approximately there is a 50-50% distribution between 11th and 12th. So, in the 360 marks, 180 is from 11th and 180 is from 12th. And what happens in 12th? <laughs> the CBSE boards also happen, right? So, um, the board syllabus is going to be same as the syllabus you are going to study for NEET. So, take the advantage of this. In 12th, if you have 180 marks to score, then you should at least go for about 130 to 150 marks from the 12th syllabus that you are getting. So from 12th, go for about 150 marks out of the 180 possible. Now this is possible with the repeated, uh, repeated revision uh, of the syllabus that you have. So an average student with a little bit of effort and repeated uh, revisions can easily score about 150 in the 12th syllabus as it is comparatively less than the 11th one and mm, the marking scheme is almost the same in the NEET exam. That leaves us with 11th in which you must score around uh, 100 to 140 maybe out of the 180. So this is what you guys should expect in order to get good marks. Uh, you should select the topics that interest you and try to read that more. And also in bio, don't leave any topic because the questions are going to be diffused. They are, from, they are going to come from each and every chapter. But the interesting thing about bio is if you give your time, if you spend your time for bio, it is going to get you marks. The number of revision that you're going to give is going to fetch you more marks. So that's an important thing to remember for bio. Uh, for physics and chemistry, I will just come to the important topics. Uh, for physics, if we would say, if we have to score about 100 to 120, then uh, modern physics is a topic of interest because uh, it has very less numericals, mostly theoretical thing and it comes for a very high percentage. So look for modern physics and also try to do kinematics as much as possible because it is going to help you in every aspect of physics. Uh, 
it is actually the basics of physics in if you uh, do kinematics really nicely the physics goes directly to your head so uh, to talk about physics our target score here is 100 to 120 so for that the topics of interest according to me would be modern physics kinematics so the topics of interest would be modern physics kinematics and the properties of matter I'll just tell you why I selected these topics and why they are important. So, for the modern physics, it's mostly a theoretical based topic. If you read this chapter 4-5 times, you'll get an idea in your head. And there are many things to remember. So, repeated revisions will fetch you marks in these topics. Uh, second is kinematics. So, for kinematics, I would say that this is the basics of physics. So, if you get a good concept of kinematics then you are able to solve a lot of questions and a lot of questions a lot of numericals are going to be formed from kinematics so these two topics are very important then the properties of matter as i was saying that uh, this is again a topic that is mostly theoretical so if you have problem in solving numericals then this is the topic of interest because it uh, the questions from here are going to be mostly theoretical and the numericals also would be very simple one two line calculations and that's all now if we come to chemistry part in chemistry our, our target score was 120 to 150 and chemistry as you all know has three sections physical inorganic and organic so what's the current trend that's occurring in need for these topics so inorganic chemistry is coming 100 percent from ncrt there is not a single question in neat exam which is coming out of ncrt so this is the topic of interest uh, that will help you score good marks in chemistry i will just tell you the breakup it's approximately 40 percent physical chemistry 30 percent inorganic chemistry and 30 percent organic chemistry so this inorganic chemistry has two benefits first there is no need to solve anything uh, in the exam this portion saves the most time okay so if so if you know the answer you know it and you are going to mark it and move forward this will save time for the physical chemistry part which is a bit lengthy as compared to others organic uh, questions in the last few neat papers you see two three years back uh, there is no question outside NCRT or even if it is there, it's just one or two questions out of the 30 percent that is coming. So inorganic and organic are going to come directly from NCRT. So these are the topics that you have to study very thoroughly. Uh, try to avoid any other book other than NCRT. Try to get the concepts from NCRT and these topics are written pretty good in NCRT. If you have read the NCRT, if you have given the number of revisions, you are going to score very good in these two topics. And that itself is going to make you reach very close to the target score, which is 120 to 150. Now we come to physical chemistry. So what, what to do in physical chemistry? Actually, a uh, lot of numericals might be asked, but uh, in the last few years, the general trend is 3-4 numericals at most. So try to get the concepts in physical chemistry, okay? So... Uh, in solid states like if we talk about so try to go for the concept rather than mugging up in physical it's very important to know the basics and if you know the basics in physical chemistry uh, you can easily score out of this 40 percent you can easily score about at least 60 to 70 percent marks in physical chemistry is very possible uh, with a little bit of revision and uh, do clear your doubts in physical chemistry as much as possible because concept building is important for physical chemistry. So guys, this was what uh, the criteria for those who are good in bio and like bio. But now I'll, I'm going to tell you about those students who bio not remember bio. We say that we don't remember so we do we bio? Mein? So I'll just tell you the breakup that they should focus on for getting these 500 plus marks in NEET. So for those who are not very inclined towards bio and find it very difficult to remember it, they should try to get 
अराउंड टू हंड्रेड टू टू फिफ्टी मार्क्स इन बायो गेटिंग टू हंड्रेड टू टू फिफ्टी मार्क्स इन बायो इज नॉट डिफिकल्ट एट ऑल यू जस्ट हैव टू गिव सम रिविजन्स दैट्स इट यू हैव टू रीड द टॉपिक्स फोर फाइव टाइम्स फाइव सिक्स टाइम एज मच एज पॉसिबल एज मच एज यू गेट द टाइम बट द थिंग इज इफ यू आर गेटिंग टू हंड्रेड टू टू फिफ्टी मार्क्स इन बायो देन हाउ टू डू वेल इन अदर अदर सब्जेक्ट्स सो द इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग इज इफ यू आर टारगेटिंग फॉर दिस मार्क्स इन बायो देन इन केमिस्ट्री यू शुड ट्राई टू गेट अराउंड फाइव फिफ्टी वन फिफ्टी टू वन सिक्सटी मार्क्स Getting this kind of marks in chemistry is not difficult at all, but the thing is you have to study each and every topic here. Okay, so physical, inorganic, organic, all you have to do very nicely to get this kind of score in chemistry. For physics, the target should be around one fifty marks. So this kind of target can easily be achieved. and by just having the basic concepts of the topic so in physics whenever you have a doubt go to the teacher get that doubt solved and 150 won't be difficult uh, remember the important topics which i told you the properties of matter the modern physics and kinematics these are the basics and these need to be done very properly in order to score good marks so this was the wake up for those non bio kind of students and for bio as i told you 250 to 300 here chemistry around 140 and physics around 100 to 120 so when you have this kind of break up then don't try to attempt each and every question you should know which question to leave which question to attempt so having a break up in mind uh, is to avoid the silly mistakes or to avoid any random guesses that we take so have this kind of mental image these kind of scores that you need to get and then go for the paper and i'm sure you're going to do very good so that's it from my side i hope that it will help you in the neat examination thank you 